Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily import XML files and the corresponding data in the files into Excel. So if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit just so we can get to the normal zoom for the tutorials. Alright, let's go ahead and import an XML data file. Now it is very easy to do. Make sure you have a blank worksheet and you have enough room to the right and below the cell that you'd like to import it into. Then go to the data tab. In the get external data box, click from other sources. Third from the top you will see from XML data import. Open or map a XML file into Excel. Click that. This window is going to open up and it's going to tell you to select a file from your computer. So you want to select an XML file. You can see down here, XML file. And I've got three sample ones right here. I'm going to go ahead and click this one. Now it's going to say the specified XML source does not refer to a schema. So Excel is going to create one for you. If you don't know what that means, don't really worry about it. It's still going to import the data. Um, and if the message annoys you, click in the future, don't show it. Let's go ahead and click OK. Then we get to this screen. Select which cell on your worksheet you'd like for the data to be imported to, or the upper left corner of the data. We're going to stick with cell A1, or you can um, put it in a new worksheet by selecting this radio button right here, or put it in an existing worksheet that's not in a table format. So what that means is by default it's going to say XML table, an existing worksheet. That means it's going to be formatted in the new Excel 2007 table format. So we're going to leave it like that for now. But it doesn't really matter which one of these you choose. So we'll stick with the table format just because you can do more with that. Now I'm going to click properties. So here are the XML map properties. If you want to you can validate the data against a schema for importing and exporting just to make sure everything works correctly. We can save the data source definition in the workbook which means it's going to know where it came from basically. And then here you can ch um, choose the formatting and layout options. So basically just choose what you'd like for that and then click OK. Also you can change the name up here. Oops. Alright so OK. OK. And wow, look at all of this. It's huge. So let's zoom out real quick. And now the problem is this these cells here have text wrap on them. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything. Go to the Home tab. Uncheck that. And there we go. So you can see these cells just had wrapped text. And that's why that happened. Now this is the Excel table format. We can see when we highlight this that you get another tab up here for table tools. You can change a bunch of different things for the tables here. But other than that, that's pretty much all there is to uh, importing XML data into Excel. The last thing I'm going to show you is um, how you can view where all the schema data is and the columns for the XML data, basically like the properties and so on. So what you want to do is have the developer tab and I'm going to and then click source. When you click source, you can then see the ID for every column right here. Or basically the map. So this is like your XML map. And in another tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import this map without any of this data and then individually display these as you would like. So basically, though, that's all there is to it. And really quickly, I'm going to show you how to get the developer tab up. So you want to go to the office button, Excel options on the popular tab check show developer tab in ribbon by default this will be unchecked when you do that you get the developer tab so like I said that's all there is to it and since we're in a table we have the filter options already set up here so we can filter all of the data as we like um, but now I'm going to show you really quickly that's all there is for the XML importing into Excel so um, if you don't want to learn anymore it's okay you can go now but now I'm going to show you what it looks like if you do not import it as a table so let's go to another tab, Sheet 2, go to Data, Get External Data from Other Sources, from XML Data Import, 
select the XML file, books, click OK. Now here I'm just going to say existing worksheet instead of XML table. Then properties, change it if you'd like to. You will notice, however, that the properties here are a little bit more different. So you can save the query definition if you'd like to be able to update it in the future. By default, it's checked. Uncheck it so it doesn't update. You can change how often it refreshes. I talk about this often for the importing stock data in Excel, where I want it to refresh every one minute. And um, anything else you need to adjust column width kind of annoys me, so I usually uncheck that. Um, but leave it checked if you want your data to automatically resize columns and anything else you need. So OK, let's click OK. And now the data comes in just like this, not formatted like a table. So looks kind of um, not very nice. Let's go ahead and turn off the text wrapping. And there we go. So when you do not import it as a table, it's going to look like this. When you do import it as a table, it will look like this. And this one looks much nicer. That's why it's chosen by default. So that's pretty much it. And like I said, if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there.